Hmm, I don't think this was supposed to happen. Hello fellow survivors. As you can see, I have broken Northern Lights, the game. I uh, was going to do a quick video where I was just going to find the snowmobile, but it turned into a whole thing. And then when I finally did find the snowmobile, well, a lot of shenanigans happened. So, yeah, let me walk you through it. Okay, so after my last video, there were quite a few people who commented that I should get the snowmobile because it's quite, I don't know, unusual, I guess, of what I described it. So I went back into my game and I tried to get to the snowmobile marked on the map. And just like last time, I first got lost and still couldn't read the compass and end up pretty much going in a massive circle. After this, I realized that actually the compass isn't working exactly as it's supposed to. I did a little experiment and I walked in a, a directly south line for some time. And you'd expect, therefore, that on the map I would move straight down. But actually I moved slightly to the left and down, suggesting that the north uh, of the map is actually top right and not top which made things a bit more confusing. But once I figured that out, I realized how to do it. So I made my way and eventually I found the snowmobile. And then this happened. Ha. Huh. Oh, the tank is dry empty. What? There still has to be some fuel left on this island. Come on. No. Why? It was fuel then. Oh, great. Okay, so I had to find uh, gasoline and uh, I had no clue where it was because I didn't play story mode. So I decided to just explore a little bit around. And in that endeavor, I discovered that it was actually possible to climb up pretty much any mountain in the whole game by just spamming the jump button. And you can just skyrocket yourself up any steep hill. So it was a bit weird that you could just do that and you climb anywhere. I saw a tall mountain and said, like, yeah, let's go there. And I made a whole journey out of it. Eventually, though, I got too tired of uh, looking for stuff, so I asked my fellow Patreon, Pam, who you should check out on Twitch, who plays the Northern Lights uh, quite more uh, than I do, and she told me how to do it. So I had to go to a, a wood factory to get a jerry can, and then go to the wood lodge to get fuel. So I did. I did a whole trek, kind of like Path of Galacras, or whatever they say in Lord of the Rings, over the mountains, Made it all the way to the wood factory. I looked around and sure enough, I found the the gas can. And then it took me about five hours to try and figure out how to pick it up and put it in my inventory because the game didn't want me to. And then items fell through the floor and all sorts of things. So that was uh, that was an experience, I guess. Then on the way to the woodcut camp, I decided to be in the cinematic mood and decided to just walk along the road and yeah, create a little cinematic moment here for you. That was fun and then I filled up the gas tank and then uh, after the resting all I had to do was walk some more all the way back to the snowmobile and then finally when I got back uh, there was again a bit of a hassle trying to figure out how to actually refuel the thing and I got a visitor from a nice little friendly deer. Yeah that's fine. You, uh, you just uh, you have a nice day. Okay, after it was uh, refueled properly, it was time to try the snowmobile and give it a spin. 
And well, this is how that worked. Running well. Yeah. I should look for that fuel gauge there. All right. Well, why don't we? Why don't we head back to the logging camp to refuel? Let's see how this goes. Is it fast? Let's go. Oh wow, this is really fast. Zoom. It's so wobbly though. Oh, you look like this. Oh, you stare with the mouse. Or you look with the mouse, rather. By the way, that's uh, confusing. Alright, let's, uh, let's not move the mouse. Can I have the compass? No. I think I know more or less where I'm going. As you can see, the snowmobile does not handle particularly well. It's really slippery. It is literally like you're driving on ice. I did feel that if you drove on the road, it did drive a bit uh, smoother, but it was very difficult to do that because you pretty much just had max speed or no speed. You couldn't like balance it out or anything. So it was very difficult to steer. It was going all over the place. So then I did the only thing you naturally wanted to do, which is that I wanted to see what happens if I jump off a cliff with the snowmobile. <laughs> so I set my eyes on the highest mountain I could see and I started driving up there, but the snowmobile was uh, complaining. I got almost all the way up, but then it just wouldn't have it. And then in an attempt to try and uh, sneak my way around, it somehow got stuck on this little pixel, this little ledge, and I could not for the life of me get it off. I tried everything I could, and it was just stuck on this little thing. And I, fig and I figured that's the end of it. So I just started moving the handles and pretending that the snow scooter was actually a robot, just dancing. And that entertained me for a while. And then suddenly, as I was about to give up, I realized that you could actually click on the snow scooter. And there is a function that says push. Ah. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't think that was meant to happen. Alright, well now I know I can do that. Now having discovering that it, there's a push function of the snow scooter changed the whole game because holy crap is this buggy. If you push the snow scooter it seems to push it a bit forward but it, it just clips into the world and most of the time when I uh, sat on it it would just launch me into the air and I would go flying. Uh, so that was fun, so I tried pushing it manually up the hill there, but the game wouldn't have it and I kept flying all over the place. Eventually, I tried to drive on top of this ledge, which again, the game did really not want me to do. I just got clipped into it again and again. Eventually, I was able to climb on top and I tried to jump off the edge to see what happened. And while well, this happened. Woo! Oh, that was anticlimactic. Well, it seems like you can take infinite fall damage as long as you're sitting on the snowmobile. So that's great. Good to know. Now, after that, I realized there wasn't much point in playing this game anymore. <laughs> so I decided to just mess about with the push function. And uh, sure enough, after I pushed it too far, I guess, I started falling through the world. And uh, yeah, you can see for yourself how that happened. Hmm, I don't think this was supposed to happen. Hmm. Let's see what happens if I go off. Yeah! <clears throat> I'm just uh, hanging about here. Underneath the Northern Lights world. Just having a casual little walk. Just admiring the, uh, the scenery. Can I make a fire here? Hands are busy. What? <gasps> Down here in the oblivion of the world, I could see what was happening up top. But once a blizzard hit, it all turned foggy and I couldn't really see. 
So I walked around a little bit and I looked at the world from underneath until I decided to sit there and watch the snow scooter until I was going to die. I couldn't do anything because I kept saying the hands are busy. I couldn't do anything in the inventory. I couldn't loot the uh, snowmobile. I couldn't do anything. So I was proper stuck. So I just sat down. Uh, if I was sitting, I don't know what my character was doing exactly. But yeah, I just stood there and watched as the the feet of the world showed me what it would look like from upside down until eventually my character passed away into the long dark. And then a little thing at the end, it said, if you think your death was an error, report a bug. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that this death was in error. <laughs> so yeah, if you do play this game, make sure you find a snowmobile, use the push function, and you'll basically unlock a whole new game where you can fly everywhere and then clip through the world, which, yeah, that was definitely, that was definitely the most fun I had in this game. <laughs> so. Oh, by the way, before we go, I should mention that I still have not seen a single predator in this whole game. I've played this for quite a few hours now on the hardest difficulty, and I have yet to see a single predator. Yeah, the game, it's fun, it needs polish, it's very, very early access, and uh, needs a lot of polish uh, before it's really playable. But it has potential, I suppose. For now, it's just fun messing with the broken bit. See you next time, survivors. Bye-bye.